Hey, I'm Christine Prosperi. I'm Jordan Rodriguez. And you're watching Shine On Media. Yes, you are. You've been cheer smack. Du bist cheer smack. Cheer smack. We're gonna take you down. Woo! There's a better way you could have said that. Three. So we're here for a Bring It On Worldwide hashtag Cheer Smack. Um, can you tell me about your characters in this film? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, my character's name's Blake, and he's a, a street artist. He's has a background in hip hop and graffiti, and uh, yeah, he, he sort of brings a sort of edgy element to the uh, uh, cheer world. Yeah, and I play Destiny. She's a fierce and fiery character. She gets what she wants. Um, she's the captain of the All Star Rebel team. And she kind of meets Blake, and he brings her to back down to life a bit, back down to reality. But throughout the film, you see her go through ups and downs with friendships and relationships and with the squad. And um, yeah, she's a bit more likable, I think, in the mi in when we get to the middle of yeah. the movie. Yeah. She gets there. <laughs> so this is the sixth movie in this franchise. What was your first experience with the Bring It On world? Oh, my god. I remember when the first Bring It On came out. I was um, really young, and it was on VHS. I don't think I was allowed to watch it, but I remember rewinding it over and over again to learn all the cheers. And I just remember, yeah, uh, in school we would recite all the cheers and we would try to be Kirsten Dunst and Gabby Union and yeah. Yeah, I, I watched it on VHS as well with my sister. <laughs> we were big fans. Um, <laughs> I don't think I ever learned the cheers. Yeah, I mean, I, I regret cool, that though. now. Well, yeah. We well, know you know our well, I feel like yeah. everyone knows the, like, burr, it's cold in here. Yeah, know, like. exactly. <laughs> so what makes your movie different than the other ones? I think in this movie we deal with a lot of relatable things that are happening today, like social media, and um, also we're going international with a lot of different squads from around the world, which is really cool. Um, also with Blake's crew, we have a hip-hop element. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. You nailed it. Thanks. <laughs> and Jordan, I know you have experience with dance. Did you have experience with cheer or dance also? I had, I danced um, most of my life, but not as good as this guy. He really was great. I, oh, well, thank you. He was great. But um, I, uh, yeah, I, st I started training at the age of like 13. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just second nature to me now. Yeah. Very cool. And so you know how to dance. What was it like picking up the cheer element of this movie? Intense. Yeah, it was <laughs> intense. We went through a five-week uh, cheerleading boot camp with our choreographer, Tony G. So the first week I got there, I was like, oh, I'm not doing any of these stunts. I'm not going up in the air. I'm getting a stunt double. And then by the second week, I was absolutely obsessed with flying, obsessed with stunting. And I would go around all the cheerleaders and say, like, okay, toss me in the, into the air because I was just, like, addicted to flying. Yeah, it was a whole new world, learning cheer cheering. Um, yeah, I've never lifted a girl before, like... Uh, Toss to go so high, um, but then you got to remember you got to catch them as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just like throw them. You're like, Wee. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you also had to learn like the actual cheer, like yelling, right? Was that right. new for you too? Yeah. So Tony was really great. He um, helped me a lot. I mean, I I walked in and I was a bit nervous for to perform in front of all these cheerleaders, but by the end I was you know reciting all the cheers and you got to own it. You can't you can't uh, phone it in. You got to just completely own it. So, well, and it's an amazing cast. You have. You guys, Vivica Fox, what was it like working with everybody? Yeah. It was awesome. Like, we had a really eclectic group of um, actors and dancers, mm -hmm. and they all brought their own element to the movie, and um, you'll see that um, very clearly in the, in the film. Yeah. And Vivica was great. We, um, she actually got, she came on the last few days of working, and I got to hang out with her in the makeup trailer and just, like, you know, look watch her act and you know look up to her on set was really cool and she brings such a good fierce character to the to the movie and um she's just like a larger than life character so and i, I love the worldwide element so what was it like meeting cheer squads from all across the world we we got to work with um cheerleaders all over the world like the best ones came for mm -hmm. this um for this uh, movie and they taught us so much um we also yeah there was a lot of uh real cheer squads from around the world that we um, we would go over to their home country and actually film them do their thing and they nailed it so yeah and it's cool to see it all come together and to see all these different cheer squads from around the world and a lot of the cheerleaders that we got to work with we ended we ended up becoming such good friends with them and now we just have friends in all these different countries and we all keep in touch a little bit through social media so it's really cool are there any tricks that you picked up while doing learning like cheerleading and the dancing stuff that you might like pull out at a party or something? 
I definitely have been to a few parties or like bars where I, <laughs> I swear, where I like go up to a guy and I'll be like, okay, can you like toss me in the air? I bet you you can't. Yeah. And they're like, no, I can't. I'm like, yeah, it's really hard. You're not a cheerleader. Yeah. I've said that before. Yeah, I've said the same thing to some guys. <laughs> can you throw me? <laughs> I actually have. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> One thing I love about these movies is like obviously on the DVD there's usually blooper reels and stuff. Do you have a uh, most memorable blooper from filming? I laughed a lot. This was like the first movie where I had so many giggles all the time. Like I just remember yeah, Gia right. and Soph, like we would just be <laughs> laughing and Rob the director would be like, okay, do your job, like be professional. But <laughs> it was such a fun set. We were always like singing and dancing in between takes and you had your guitar, so you were playing a lot, and yeah, yeah it was a lot cool. of sing-alongs. Mm -hmm, a lot of sing-alongs. We were probably really annoying to everyone else. So bringing on musical too, right? Yes, yeah. that's genius. <laughs> exactly. Do you have a most or a favorite scene that you're excited for people to see? Mm. I mean, the final mm -hmm. dances, uh, the cheer dances, are incredible. They're shot incredibly. The routines are super dynamic and. They're amazing. So I'm really excited for people to see that. My favorite scene in the film would probably be, we called it the actors battle when we rehearsed. It's um, a battle between the cheer squad and Blake's crew. So it was a girl against boy thing. And um, the girls just really worked it. And the, and the boys were so hot and smooth. And it was just a really fun thing to shoot. And these movies always have such a great message. What is it that you hope viewers take away from the film? I hope viewers take away um, you know, social media is such a huge uh, issue or topic in our lives today. And I just hope, you know, kids watching take away that it's not all about social media. It's not all about how many likes or views you get. It's about real connection and human interaction. Exactly. Um, and just to t not take those things so seriously and just have fun in your real day lives instead of just on the phone. Yeah, it's definitely Im about what's on the inside than what's on the outside and what you appear to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, speaking of social media, because this does have hashtag Cheersmack in the title, what is another hashtag you would put out there to promote this film? Oh, I said so many words in the movie, like Cheerdiculous, like hashtag Cheerdiculous, or like hashtag Cheer Liberty. Um, hashtag I don't sweat, I glisten. Yeah. <laughs> is but it's <laughs> funny, because those are, act like, I would have to say those seriously in a scene. That's hashtag ridiculous, and people like actually took me seriously. I mean, I love that it carries over because, like, in the first one, you had like you're being a cheer tater and all that. Yeah, stuff. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love that stuff. <laughs> so I'm curious, how did each of you get into acting? Was there something that inspired you, like an actor or a movie that you saw, or was it just something you were around? Um, for me, I I was always dancing and singing and acting around my parents and my family. So one day they saw. A and out in a newspaper for a musical, The Lion King, and they sent me out for it. And I got that at the age of 10. So, oh, it's, nice. yeah, it's been huge. Like, <laughs> it's, I've just stuck with it the whole time, and I love it. Uh, yeah, same with me, really. I started when I was three years old. I was always, you know, wanting to be the center of attention, and Still does. not much <laughs> has changed. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just was such a, you know, I was always singing and dancing as a kid as well. And my mom was like, okay, we have to do something about this. And I went to some singing competition and um, some agencies were there. And then, you know, I just started doing commercials. And then at the age of 16, 17, I was like, oh, I want to do acting as a as a real career. So I just, you know, started booking and I was lucky enough to be on Degrassi for five years, which was such a great experience. And look at us now. I'm not going to lie, I love that trip. So. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm like, I watched both of you because you were on the Fosters and I covered the Fosters a lot. Right. So, yeah. Right. So that's the question. Are you going to come back at all? Is there any chance um, that you might be back? <laughs> yes, there is a chance. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, what is something that maybe you learn from each of those roles? Because they're both very big shows and both very important shows for teens out there. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, well, on Degrassi, I played a lesbian character. Her name is Imogen. And she was so quirky and crazy and fun, and I loved playing her, um, playing her. So it was just cool to see that she was so comfortable with being herself. And the fact that I got to reach out to the LGBT community and be a part of that was such an honor for me. And I, and I, you know, I miss that character so much in playing such a kooky, fun character. And yeah. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the Fosters has taught me so much about love. You know, it um, deals with the. Um, uh, the uh, two moms raising foster family, biological um, and adopted, 
and throughout the five seasons that they've done they're just making they're, just, they're bringing topics that need to be out there mm -hmm. that need to be said and they're doing it in such a tasteful way and it's making waves and it's really uh, i hear the stories about how it is affecting um the audience in such a positive way and as an actor i can't really ask for anything more than that mm -hmm. because it's so important that we have these characters on on screen and um that people I it's affecting people it's good for each of you what would be your dream project in i find this question so hard yeah Lately, I've been thinking, just because it's so fresh and, like, recent. I mean, Emma Stone in La La Land, I think that was such a cool role and to be able to sing and dance. Um, and I found that movie so relatable for artists and actors that I would just want to be a part of something that people could relate to. And, and obviously, singing and dancing is fun. Yeah. I don't know. I would love to play Bruce Lee one day. The rules of the SmackDown are simple. There are no rules. You nervous? Cheerleaders don't get nervous. We get ready. 